The planet Pluto, coordinated at the farthest reaches of our planetary gathering, is wrapped by a colossal number of cold heavenly bodies and space rocks inside the Kuiper Belt, a huge area of space past Neptune. Once worshipped as the tenth planet, Pluto gets its name from the Roman divinity of the hidden world. Anyway, at a critical crossroads in grandiose history, in 2006, Pluto was renamed from its planetary status, mirroring the developing comprehension of our boundless locale. Our ongoing excitement for the planetary gathering depicts a winding of prominent parts, different space rocks, a select gathering of minor planets, and a record of only eight traditional planets. Throughout mankind's set of experiences, exploring many extended lengths of grandiose insight and assessment, our translation of these bodies has advanced essentially. We've acquired bits of knowledge into their plans, strategies for acting, and likely conduct, painting a more nuanced picture of our cosmic environment. Yet, in the midst of our developing information, the appeal of our own existence proceeds to welcome assessment and disclosure. The James Webb Space Telescope, a zenith of present-day galactic headway, stands prepared to uncover a portion of these pausing experiences, including those involving Pluto. Notwithstanding its unobtrusive size and erratic circle, Pluto has held an extraordinary place in the hearts of many for a really long time, parading the differentiation of being the littlest divine object in our closed by planetary framework. Pluto's renaming lighted a solid response from the public, highlighting the profound association individuals felt toward this far-off body. Anyway, logical alert dictated that for an object to merit planetary status, it should stick to three key models. Circling the sun, having adequate mass to assume a nearly round shape under its gravity, and getting its circle free from trash models that Pluto at last neglected to meet with its lopsided orbital way. The term planet has undergone a captivating advancement throughout grandiose history. At first, it encompassed any huge divine body seen overhead, counting moons and space rocks. Pluto's revelation in 1930 by American cosmologist Clyde Tombaugh mixed overall energy, just to be trailed by revelations of correspondingly measured objects inside its locale, raising questions about its planetary status. In the midst of this discussion, Professor Mike Brown's critical revelation of Eris, a Kuiper Belt object practically identical in size to Pluto, further complicated matters, testing the conventional meaning of a planet. This prompted a warmed conversation inside the galactic community, finishing in Pluto's renaming as a dwarf planet during the Worldwide Astronomical Association IAU meeting in Prague in 2006. Hence, Pluto's advancement from planetary status to a dwarf planet role fills in as a demonstration of the dynamic nature of logical understanding and the ongoing mission for clearness in the tremendous area of the universe. Following broad discussion, a changed meaning of a planet was proposed and put to a vote during the August gathering of the IAU, the body answerable for naming heavenly items and characterizing cosmic terms. In this meeting, the meaning of a planet was acclimated to include both Pluto and Eris, signaling a takeoff from the ordinary comprehension of what a planet is and mirroring a more nuanced view of heavenly objects. Eris, recently known as 2003 UB313 and monikered Xena, was renamed after the Greek goddess of strife, mirroring the conversations and discussions encompassing its characterization. Mike Brown, a planetary researcher at Caltech whose work added to Pluto's renaming, gained far-reaching acknowledgement for his endeavors, acquiring the epithet Pluto Killer via virtual entertainment. This renaming provoked a brief correction of instructive materials, counting standards and reading material books, to reflect the new comprehension of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets. Anyway, not all individuals from the logical community promptly embraced the IAU's definition. A few planetary researchers, especially those zeroed in on Pluto and comparable items, expressed worries about the new rules, starting ongoing conversations inside the field of planetary science. These discussions broadened past logical circles and into more extensive public talk, raising inquiries regarding the possibility of exact characterization and the ramifications of renaming long-laid-out cosmic terms. Notwithstanding these conversations, logical request proceeded unabated. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons rocket directed a memorable flyby of Pluto, providing remarkable bits of knowledge into this far-off world. The mission uncovered a dynamic and topographically active planetoid, with highlights like nitrogen ice plains, and a conspicuous heart-shaped district, 
charming the public's imagination. As we think about these progressions, it turns out to be certain that how we might interpret the close-by planetary framework and its constituent bodies continues to advance. The renaming of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets addresses an achievement in our progressing investigation of the universe, featuring the intricacy and variety of worlds past Earth. As new horizons ventured through space at an astounding pace of 32,300 miles per hour, it caught detailed pictures of Pluto's near side during its nearest approach. Anyway, because of the shuttle's direction and the place of the sun, Pluto's far side, frequently alluded to as the dark side, remained hidden from view. Investigators carefully explored pictures taken by the rocket before its encounter to gather bits of knowledge into this puzzling area. Notwithstanding the difficulties presented by the limited extent of these pictures, they offered an outstanding degree of detail, permitting researchers to notice surface highlights down to around one mile across. This degree of lucidity far outperformed past perceptions, counting those from the Hubble Space Telescope, which circles Earth. The examination of these pictures has provided new viewpoints on Pluto's dynamic nature, with researchers examining elements such as a potential subsurface sea and surface cycles. Later disclosures, such as the presence of ammonia on Pluto's surface and charming ice arrangements, continue to unveil the intricacy of this world. Richard Binzel, a planetary researcher engaged with the New Horizons mission, describes Pluto as the gift that continues to give as it keeps on astonishing analysts with its unpredictability. Before the New Horizons mission, the most itemized pictures of Pluto came from the Hubble Space Telescope, which revealed a world with particular surface elements. Anyway, New Horizons provided fundamental close-up perspectives on Pluto's scene, including the striking heart-shaped area and the immense frozen plain known as Sputnik Planum. The revelation of Sputnik Planum's uncommon course of action, alongside Pluto's largest moon, Charon, has sparked interest in its arrangement, with certain researchers estimating that it might include a subsurface sea that has affected its surface highlights. The presence of ammonia in the ice covering Sputnik Planum suggests geographical movement beneath the surface, indicating a dynamic and evolving world. As researchers continue to investigate the data gathered by New Horizons, they are uncovering new bits of knowledge into Pluto's complex and dynamic nature, extending the opportunities for future examination. The varied scene on Pluto's far side, including slopes, depressions, and fields, bears similitudes to elements seen on other divine bodies with subsurface seas. While the far side of Pluto remains somewhat covered up, researchers enthusiastically expect future missions for closer assessment. The anomalies noticed fuel speculations about Pluto's topographical history and the job of its subsurface sea in molding its surface. These revelations challenge conventional translations of planetary advancement and highlight the powerful idea of far-off worlds like Pluto. As New Horizons continued its mission, researchers speculated about the destiny of Pluto's center over the long haul. Radioactive rot inside the center could have produced sufficient intensity to cause surface deformity, possibly leading to kinks or breaks like those seen on Earth. Anyway, when New Horizons captured pictures of Pluto's far side, it revealed gaps rather than inescapable wrinkling. Pluto's surface needed to suggest that it had partially frozen over the long haul. This huge break running along the near side of Pluto resembles Earth's East African rift system, probably coming about because of the freezing and expansion of a subsurface sea. The age of this break shows that the sea began cooling quickly after reaching the surface, potentially making conditions good for the advancement of life. Also, the ruddy shade of Pluto's surface, indicative of organic particles, suggests the presence of complex organic compounds. Laboratory tests have shown that such particles can form through radiation, like solar wind or cosmic rays, highlighting a likely situation for their presence on Pluto. The revelation of ammonia-bound ice on Pluto's near side supports that the dwarf planet might hold rich organic compounds. While this doesn't imply the presence of life, it suggests that conditions could support life if they were suitable. Measurements from Pluto's far side have not only supported the mission's success, but have also led to the discovery of captivating topographical highlights, like ice formations resembling tall structures. These developments, dispersed equally and rising forcefully, present a critical mystery. Spectral measurements show they are made of methane ice, forming a belt around the equator. However, their origin remains dubious, 
with speculations ranging from atmospheric hardening to disintegration by extreme sunlight. Figuring out Pluto's cold climate and landscape requires a careful assessment of its atmospheric conditions. Scientists are refining climate models to better replicate noticed irregularities and aim to reproduce Pluto's atmosphere and surface circumstances in laboratory settings. While the James Webb Space Telescope can't capture high-resolution pictures of Pluto, its longer wavelengths may reveal additional disclosures. As we continue to disentangle Pluto's secrets, we set out on a journey that reflects humanity's voracious quest for knowledge and the powerful advancement of how we might interpret the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's capacity to accumulate and analyze infrared light offers a unique opportunity to study interstellar items, including those passing through our close planetary system. With its advanced capabilities, the telescope empowers researchers to dive into the secrets of these vast visitors, providing a clearer understanding of their arrangement and origins. This ongoing investigation highlights the significance of continued scientific inquiry in uncovering the mysteries of our huge and interesting universe. The James Webb Space Telescope marks a new era in cosmology, bringing cutting-edge technology to the investigation of far-off heavenly articles and interstellar guests. Outfitted with advanced infrared capabilities, the JWST can notice huge peculiarities that are generally imperceptible to conventional optical telescopes. This permits researchers to examine the early universe, star formation, and the composition of exoplanets with exceptional detail. Quite possibly of the most prominent aspect of the JWST is its capacity to catch infrared light, which is vital for noticing objects that are excessively weak or excessively far away to be seen in visible light. The telescope's enormous primary mirror and refined instruments enable it to detect the faint thermal signatures of far-off universes and other vast elements. This ability is particularly significant for concentrating on the development and evolution of galaxies, as well as the atmospheres of exoplanets. The JWST's contribution to our understanding of the universe is evident in its ability to reveal complex insights about heavenly objects. For example, its observations have provided new bits of knowledge into the structure and composition of far-off galaxies, shedding light on their growth and evolution over cosmic time. The telescope's observations of exoplanet atmospheres have moreover added to our knowledge of their potential habitability and the presence of atmospheric components like water vapor and methane. Interstellar objects unveil astronomical secrets. One of the most thrilling aspects of the JWST mission is its capability to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua. This strange guest from outside our close planetary group caught global attention when it was first detected in 2017. Dissimilar to any object previously noticed, Oumuamua showed a surprising elongated shape and rapid movement, prompting broad investigation and hypothesis about its origins. The JWST's capabilities are expected to provide further insights into such interstellar items by investigating their structure and trajectories. Researchers hope to learn more about their origins and the processes that led to their ejection from their home star systems. This data can offer significant clues about the development and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own. Exploring Pluto and the Kuiper Belt Pluto, as a representative of the Kuiper Belt, continues to be a focal point of scientific interest. The data from the New Horizons mission uncovered an abundance of information about Pluto's surface and its land features. As researchers analyze these discoveries, they plan to learn more about the processes that shape such far-off bodies. The JWST observations could supplement and develop the findings from New Horizons by providing additional data on the composition and dynamics of Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects. Understanding these far-off worlds is vital for sorting out the history and evolution of our solar system, as well as the development of other planetary systems in the cosmos. Future Possibilities As the JWST continues its mission, groundbreaking disclosures are expected that will advance how we might interpret the universe. The telescope's capacity to see in the infrared range opens up new opportunities for exploring previously subtle aspects of space, from studying the earliest galaxies to examining the atmospheres of exoplanets and interstellar guests. The JWST is poised to make significant contributions to cosmology. The continued investigation of Pluto and other heavenly bodies will additionally enhance our understanding of the solar systems beyond our own. By combining data from various missions and telescopes, 
researchers can build a more comprehensive picture of the universe and its many wonders. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope stands at the very forefront of galactic research, offering extraordinary insights into the universe. Its cutting-edge technology and capabilities promise to unlock new secrets and expand our understanding of the cosmos, preparing for future discoveries and broadening the horizons of human knowledge.